Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nobuhle Kumalo and you are watching the investing series. Over the next couple of videos, I'm going to be teaching you guys about the basics of investing. This is a beginner friendly series. So if you have no clue what investing is or where to even begin or what app you need to download, don't stress, stick around because I will be covering that and more. My aim for this series is not to force you to invest, but it's actually to just give you information and teach you about the different types of investments that are available. And then it's up to you to make the choice of whether you want to participate or not and remember like i always say these videos do not constitute financial advice please view them as a conversation from one friend to another all right let's get into it In today's video, we're going to be covering the basics. So I'm just simply going to define investing. I'm going to tell you about the different types of investments. I'm going to tell you when you should start investing, how much you should invest, the risks of investing and then I'm going to give you some of my parting comments and guys a lot of you are already investing you just don't realize it so whether you have a life policy a funeral cover or a retirement annuity these are all forms of investment however with these investments you are not in control this is because for you to actually claim benefits from these you either have to retire at the age of 65 or you have to die and if you're dead you're not the one benefiting from your investments but rather your kids and family and friends will. So stick around. This series is going to show you an alternative way of investing where you have control and you can put in how much you want as well as take out your money when you need it. All right, so let's define investing. Forbes says investing is the process of buying assets that increase in value over time and provide returns in the form of income payments or capital gains. In simple terms, this means putting money away today with the hopes that it grows and becomes a lot more money in the future. Why would someone want this? So it's mainly for two reasons. Firstly, it's for financial security and the second one is to fight against inflation. For the financial security portion, this basically means a lot of us do have hopes and dreams of becoming rich one day and investing is usually the best way to do this. This is because of its compounding effect. Basically, your money works to make you more money. Secondly, it's to fight against inflation. So I know a lot of you have savings in your bank account and this is because this is the easiest form of saving or putting money away. This is because almost everyone has a bank account because of today's digital age, which means banks have made it easier for you to save within the same facility because all you have to do is log onto your banking app and transfer money from your current account to your savings account. This is great, especially for certain instances. However, in the long term, saving in your bank account is not going to make you rich. This is because you are only offered limited amounts of interest whereas if you were investing in the stock market or alternative products you can expect greater returns for the same amount of money let's look at an example so to depict the inflation aspect I'm going to give you a quick scenario where I use buying bread so let's assume you had a hundred rand in 2014 10 years ago and you wanted to buy bread if you bought the bread in 2014, you would have gotten eight loaves of bread and a couple of sweets with the change because bread was 11 Rand 43 cents. If you decided to save this amount in a bank account or actually put it under your mattress, you would have 100 Rand in 2024. However, you would only be able to buy five loaves of bread because bread has increased to 19 Rand 99 cents. However, if you decided to invest this money and on average your investment had a 10% return yearly, you would have 259 Rand and 37 cents in 2024. This will allow you to buy 12 loaves of bread and sweets with the change. So the price of bread increasing from 11 Rand 43 cents to 19 Rand 99 is because of the impacts of inflation. Basically, it becomes more and more expensive to live as the years go by. However, things like investing can help you retain the value of your money as well as grow it. Because now suddenly, instead of only buying eight loaves of bread, you're able to afford 12 loaves of bread and some sweets. So the choice is pretty clear. Obviously, investing does seem like the best way to go about it however i do want to say that there are instances where saving in a bank is still recommended and i'll cover that in a later video where i show investing versus saving so that you can see a better picture all right let's get into the different types of investing 
So I've already mentioned that there are retirement annuities, life policies and funeral policies that you guys probably already have money in. The other types of investments include stocks and equities, government bonds, unit trusts, money market instruments, real estate, i.e. your property, cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin, precious metals such as your gold, silver, even your diamonds, private equity, this is when you invest in private companies that are not listed, foreign exchange, i.e. forex, you probably have heard of that, and lastly collectibles. This includes things like your Rolex watches, your Pokemon cards and comics, your Birkin bags, your vintage cars, art and sports memorabilia. With collectibles this is a very unpredictable type of investment because you and I are not really sure what type of collectibles will matter in the future. So for example you and I could buy the latest BMW and think in 10 years time it'll be worth so much more. However it might not always work out. So I will not be touching on those over the next few weeks. However if you are interested and keen about hearing about the rest of the investments that I've mentioned and how you can participate do make sure that you have hit the subscribe button below because I will be covering those over the next few weeks. All right, cool. When should I start investing? The correct answer is yesterday. The practical answer is as soon as possible. The earlier, the better. This is because someone investing at the age of 25 versus someone investing at the age of 60 is completely different because of your risk appetites. Someone who is 25 still has a lifelong career ahead of them, which means that they can afford to make a couple of mistakes. They will still be able to recover in terms of their investment portfolio. Whereas someone who is 60 is just about to retire and cannot afford to have a mess because they will need this money for their livelihood in the near future therefore i would highly discourage you from investing money that you're going to need in the near future so if you're saving for a wedding deposit or a house deposit that you're moving into the next two years or retirement and you're at the age of 60 please 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 do avoid investing rather try and find a high interest account like your money market account because those type of accounts can at least guarantee you your money as well as some interest and actually i have three conditions three conditions i think everyone who wants to invest should at least meet this is something that will ensure that your investing journey is something that is profitable and enjoyable as opposed to something that you're doing because you're told you need to invest if you haven't started investing you're late and these are my three criteria one you have paid off all of your high interest loans. So if you have a loan that is currently at an interest rate above prime, so prime is 11.75% as of the date I'm recording this video. However, if prime does drop, if you have any loan that is above 10%, in terms of interest expense, please try and pay that off. This is especially things like your credit card loan, your store accounts, because those accounts are actually charging you interest at rates like 22%, and that is extremely high, whereas your average investment will only get you 10% per annum, so you're actually losing money by trying to invest instead of settling all of those high interest loans. Number two, you need to have an emergency fund. An emergency fund is basically having three to six months of your monthly expenses saved up in case of an emergency so this could be you losing your job or you hurting yourself and basically being on unpaid sick leave but you still need to pay for all your bills having an emergency fund will help you weather the storm this is your money that you save for a rainy day and this also prevents you from actually going and finding a loan just because you can't work for the next two months and chances are if you're unemployed and you're looking for a loan you're either not going to get it or you're going to get it at a very high interest rate and possibly from an illegal loan shock so I don't want you you guys to go down that path just because you guys are forcing to invest and then lastly number three I want to say only invest money you don't mind losing in the short term. So with investing there are risks and I will be covering that shortly. The stock markets are so volatile and I will be showing you guys graphs as we continue with this investing series. However you may have to cash out at a time where it is not profitable if you are trying to invest under time constraints. However in the long term so if you've put your money in for over five years you will see that there's generally an upward trend with most of these investments. So even if something is not really making a profit in the first month or the first six months of your investment don't worry relax you don't need to check your app every day after like two or three years you should see that you will be at a better position than you were when you started off all right
how much should you invest some people will say 20% of your salary which is really ambitious and great if you can do it but knowing this economy and how people are earning I know not everyone will be able to do 20% so I will say invest as much as you safely can remember you don't want to invest money that you're gonna think about every single day put in money forget about it and move on with your life I know a lot of people probably think oh I don't have enough money to invest I don't make enough but the truth is you can invest as little as 10 Rand on most of these sites so you really can invest whenever you want however I know a lot of people will say oh I feel so silly investing 50 Rand I'll wait until it becomes 1,000 Rand and then I'll feel better the truth is you are playing yourself you would rather invest that small amount that you have consistently as opposed to waiting until it's big enough this will actually help you actually get into the habit of investing but will also allow you to experience exponential growth because you'll be earning returns on your money from the get-go versus someone who's only going to try and invest next year who would have missed out on all of the money that they could have made this year had they started with that little 50 rand now moving on to the risks of investing so a lot of you are probably shying away from investing because of how risky it is and i do want to confirm that it is risky however there are ways to get around this so firstly it's good to diversify diversifying means putting your money across multiple companies i will be showing you this over the next few weeks because i will be actually taking you onto the portfolio showing you how to choose and all of that so do not take all of your money and dump it into one company because someone said they're going to have a gold rush because the gold rush might not happen or even worse the company might shut down and your investment will go away secondly please make sure that when you are investing you are using reputable apps or reputable brokers so I will be showing you the apps that I've been using and the companies that I've been placing my investments on that I have checked against the regulatory bodies so when you are investing it is important to make sure that the platform you're using is registered with the FSCA if it's a South African company or if it's an international company make sure it is registered and compliant in whatever country their headquarters is at this is because if in the rare occurrence you do lose your money or something funny happens you should be able to call and report whatever application you've been using however if you have used a platform that is unauthorized or unknown to the government then you are unable to actually get your amount the best you can do is report them to the police and hope and pray that they catch them however there will be no compensation because the government never approved them to begin with and one last thing guys as I begin this investing series you will see there will be a couple of investing companies that will be running ads on my YouTube videos please remember to always make sure that you check if these are valid and official do not just jump on something just because they are running an ad on YouTube and if you're unsure stick around I will be showing you the apps I've been using as well as how long I've been using them and lastly guys I do want to warn you as I'm doing this investing series you may see a couple of random accounts that are trying to impersonate me whether it's in the YouTube comments or on your Instagram sending you DMs please note I do not offer financial services I do not invest on people's behalves I do not receive money and invest it for you I only do that for myself which is why I'm also teaching you guys so you can do it for yourselves so please please pretty please do not send any money to anyone who's pretending to be me and also do not send login details to anyone that is your private information it is basically like your pin for your bank card so the same way you wouldn't give me that pin do not give me your login details Thank you so much for tuning in guys i really hope you've enjoyed this intro to investing my name is nobukle kumala and i cannot wait to unroll the rest of this series and if you enjoyed this video make sure you share it with a friend because what's better than one millionaire two <laughs> what's better than one billionaire two, two. thank you so much guys i really hope you enjoyed this i'll catch you in the next one bye if you enjoyed this video please tip me with a like and if you'd like to see future videos, please do make sure you've subscribed. But in the meantime, I have a couple of other videos that I think you'll enjoy. So head over to those and I'll see you next time. Bye.